causes millions of dollars in damage every single year, and flooding can happen in every state. Now, it does come in all shapes and sizes. You can get a prolonged rain event that causes rivers to swell or that just causes flooding. You could also get a thunderstorm that just downpours on a community, and that's when we experience flash flooding. As a homeowner, what's your option? Noon, a lot of times when rivers are forecasted to go out of their banks, we see people doing this, lines of people, thousands of people loading up sandbags and laying them down. That's one! And it takes thousands of those to protect property. The second flood control option is for flood water ranging from inches to a few feet. The advantage here is that a single homeowner could store them in a basement and easily place them when needed. What, what do you call these bags? Like, what's the official name for them? The product is a flood sack, but it is a sandless sandbag. And it's used uh, as, in place of a traditional sandbag, but it has no sand. So we use water instead of sand. Fresh water is used to activate the flood sacks. Each weighs about one pound when dry and can absorb up to 47 pounds of water. Now, we're filling them in a garbage bag. That's because we're at the ocean, and salt water is not going to activate these bags. So how would someone use this at home? Would they have to do this process, or could they just take this and lay it in front of their front door? You can lay them out, and rain will activate them. You know, you can stack them up against the door like this, and then you can put another one on top of it like this, and then the rain will fall on them, and it will activate it. If you want to pre-activate them, you can simply hose them down. Is there any particular way to stack them? Or like, I see you got them staggered and stuff like that. You just want to stagger them at about 50%, just as if you were building a brick wall, because that so way. So like, instead of being like this, you want to kind of offset it a little bit? Right, because if you had them like this, water's going to want to, you know, force its way straight through here. But when we have them this way, we've created a seal here, and then a seal up against here. So the water, it's a good seal, so there's no gap left in there by staggering them. Gotcha, and does it help it when, when you stack them up higher? Does it help keep it? together, keeps it from tipping over and stuff like that yes. too, right? It stabilizes it because if you follow the same pattern up, then and it's it going to want to tip over. But this way, when it, you stagger them, it has more stability. All right. coming up against these, and they're not moving, and it doesn't seem that they're leaking at all. Let's talk about the whole process of what's happening right now and how well they protect. Basically, they were designed around the concept of a traditional sandbag, except you don't have to have all of the sand, the bags, and the labor to fill them. They activate with water, and you stack them just as you would with traditional sandbags. You set them up, and whatever you want to protect in a square, or a circle, or an arc, or a line to divert water, and then you also stack on top of them uh, like 50-50. You stagger them so that they create a seal and they're more stable that way when they're stacked. And I like that this also is a little bit of a wave. I mean, we're getting a little energy into these bags and they haven't moved, they haven't budged whatsoever. So that's a good thing to see. I mean, that was a good little wave yeah, that just was. hit into these bags here. Noon, I know that you don't like to do anything easy. You like to put all of our products to the worst case scenario. And I feel like we're really doing that with our sandless sandbags. A, because we have waves that are hitting them. You can kind of see them, you know, do a little shake. And B, it's also on sand, which is not where you would typically use sandbags. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you can see there's a little bit of wetness right here. The water's coming underneath through the sand. Mm -hmm. And then going in, this is this is a cool setup right here. This is this is real typical what you do with a, with this type of a barrier. You put a pump behind it, because pretty much any barriers you put up, they aren't gonna stop every little drop, but it stops enough to where the pump can keep up. And as you see, we're dry in here, and there's water coming around us. Yeah, and a lot of these aren't to necessarily build a barrier in between a river and your home. These are more typically used if you want to seal off your doors or if you want to seal off your garage, things like that. So we really did put these to the most extreme tests. Imagine if you live near a river or if you're not even used to your area flooding and all of a sudden you get a knock on the door that says, hey, the water's starting to rise. What's great about this product is you can deploy it very easily and very quickly, which is key because that gives you more time to get your belongings and your family to higher ground. The coolest thing about these flood sacks is there's five of them right here. Imagine trying to carry five sandbags like this, it's not gonna happen. We got three bags right here. If this was sandbags, they'd be really heavy. I drive a stake in here, 
right into the ground and I can walk away and as the floodwaters come, it'll soak up and provide a barrier even when I'm not there. And I never had to fill sand or anything. I put it on my closet, stuck them on the ground, away I go and I got protection left behind when I leave. It seems just about every year there are new products unveiled to dealing with hurricanes. One of this year's items may make filling sandbags a thing of the past. It's called flood sacks, and they're made up of fully biodegradable, lightweight absorbent material that draws in water. This can be used to not only prevent the water from getting in, but being used on the inside to make sure anything that happens to leak through is picked up. The product actually activates in three minutes it gets to 90% of its weight and in five minutes it reaches 100% of its full weight. It can actually pull in up to five and a half gallons per bag. The company says the water that gets sucked in doesn't leak out and can be deployed for 90 days.